So when we graph parametric equations, what we're doing is we're defining the x and y coordinates in terms of a third variable, in this case it's t. Okay, so really what we're doing is we're kind of setting up a set of points, three times the sine of sine of t cubed, I'm gonna write it out that way, and then that'll give me the x coordinate, even though they're using sine to find it, it's okay, that's okay, because that's what we're defining the x as. And then the y coordinate is three times the cosine of t cubed also. So what we'll do is we'll pick numbers for t and find out what the x and y coordinate are. So some nice, nice points to pick is we're, what you really like to do is, what if we're going to graph some points from 0 to 2 pi? Okay, we'll start at 0 and won't quite get to 2 pi. Um, maybe we could get to 2 pi, I don't know. But let's try 0. What if I substitute in 0? So if I substitute in zero uh, for for x uh, for x or for t, I mean, three times the sine of zero cubed times three times the cosine of zero cubed. Well, sine of zero is zero. Zero times three is zero. Cosine of zero is one to the third power is one times three is three. So. When t equals zero, y equals three. One, two, three, so something like that. Okay, then, oh, I don't know, why don't we try, um, what if we try pi over two? That's always a nice number to try. So we tried zero, we got the x, we got the y. Now we're gonna try pi over two. So it's sine of, let's see, so the sine of pi over two is one raised to the third power is is uh, three. I mean, zero is one, and then times three is three. So x is three, and then y will be cosine of pi over two is zero, so that's me three, zero. So one, two, three. And then what if we try three pi over two? Well, what's going to happen is we're going to get negative, negative, negative three. I hope you see that. And then if we try, if we try, um, if we try two pi, I know we said up to two pi. That's probably going to be positive three. Then we get to decide, and then we can continue. So then we could, then what we could do is we could pick some numbers between pi over two and uh, zero and, and, and pi over two. How about if we try pi over four, that's always a good one to try. So the sine of pi over four, we know is the square root of two over two. And then we're gonna raise that to the third power. So that would be um, two square root of two over eight. And then that's gonna multiply by three. So what is three times the, just a minute here. So when I substituted in uh, this um, power over four, I calculated that, so that's a multiplication, right? And I got 1.06, and that's the x, and then if I do the same thing, of course, the nice thing about power over four, sine and cosine the same value, so that point is this, and so that's a little bit in there. And what I want you to see is here, we're gonna fake it right there. It'll be the same thing here, except one of the negative, one of the negative, so this graph looks something like this, right? With this little curve going on. Okay, so that's that's what we're only plotting a few points. We know that, and also Desmos will do this to, for us also very nicely. So do you see how how it graphed kind of what I was doing? Only it's much more much more clean. Um, so what you do is set your you know they we, they gave us that parametric equation in the form x equals three times the sine cubed of t, and y equals three times the cosine cubed of t, and all I did was a Desmos, is write it as an ordered pair, then it asked me to what range. By default, it's one, so I changed, stretched it out to two, two pi. That did it, and there's nothing wrong with using Desmos to do this assignment, okay? It's good to understand that you're plugging in values for t and getting it, but use Desmos and grab the screenshots, okay?